sketched a character. I have done the sort of thing a novelist probably does before writing his book, but I have not even scratched the surface of Harry Mason. Everything I have listed is subject to contradiction by other characteristics, open to qualification in degree and kind. Everything has a history that goes back and back toward a vanishing point. His history is important. It is important to know that he ran away from home at fourteen, and why. That he worked in the woods and on the railroad. That he was disappointed in his ambition to be a big-league ball player. It is valuable to remember that all his ancestors, as far back as I know anything about them, were pioneers, and that he was born when almost all the opportunities for pioneering were gone. It is necessary to look at his father, about whom I know nothing except that the Andersonville prison spoiled his disposition. Probably it didn't spoil his disposition at all, but only let out something that was already there. Meanwhile, uh, Lonnie Frisbee is preaching to Chuck Smith, saying, "Hey, man!" And he's now, but you know, this is this is deadly for a pastor. It's like, "Hey, where, where's your love for people? That's all set in your DNA. You just have to live it, buddy." Ah, uh, now we're gonna get to the LSD part. Now we're gonna have to expand our consciousness. Here is part of an interview with the subject just before LSD is to be administered. My husband is an employee here at the VA, and he told me that they were looking for normal people, and uh, I volunteered. I see. Do um, you feel you're normal? <laughs> I hope I'm normal. I, I think so. Well, a, a little while back, you took uh, quite a series of psychological tests, and uh, uh, I can assure you that you're a very stable and uh, well-balanced person as a result of the tests. And, uh, how do you feel about uh, uh, coming here and drinking this strange uh, uh, material? I'm a little, a little nervous, perhaps. Well, I think that's normal. Well, I think it's time for you to have your lysergic acid Drink this down, and we'll be back after a while and see how you're doing. And, and, and it goes back and forth. Man, we thought acid was going to save the world. Some people still think that. But that was a lie. Well, this is something the preachers, you know, he's got his attention. As much as a lie is what we're rebelling against. In other words, acid won't save the world. Neither, neither will American affluence and prosperity. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day. Overtime hours for bullshit pay So I can sit out here and waste my life away Drag back home and drown my troubles away It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to For people like me, people like you Wish I could just wake up and it not be true But it is, oh it is, living in the new With an old soul These rich men north the rich men Lord knows it all Just wanna have total control Wanna know what you think Wanna know what you do And they don't think you know But I know that you do Cause your dollar ain't shit And it's taxed to no end Cause the rich men Look out for miners, and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge drowns. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, cause all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, for people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. you 
think Wanna know what you do And they don't think you know But I know that you do Cause your dollar ain't shit And it's tax to no hen Cause the rich men Know the rich men Selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. My people are a desperate bunch. And Pastor, you have the answer, so open up the door. Of course, Pastor's moved. He's he got into this work because he loves people. That's it's what the gospel's about. It's about loving people. What would it take for you, Chuck Smith, to be desperate? Oh, I don't know. Maybe having a dying church, that might do it. There, and then you have Timothy Leary type character. The psychedelic experience is a confrontation with the divine. It's a spiritual awakening. You come back and you define God now after your mind has been blown. So turn on, tune in, and drop out. And of course, uh, this movie—I mean, they gets, it's its tight. They've got the narrative down. Now, remember, Greg Lowry is an evangelist, so probably he has preached this sermon again and again and again and again without the visual illustrations. Start a new sequence of behavior. It's procedural. And now we have—you know—now we have this movement. But of course, Lonnie Frisbee's already set it up to say, "No, this movement doesn't pan out." be reborn and then an airplane comes over and drops little packets of lsd and they all get high and it's that they found what they've been looking for this is a glass of water colorless tasteless it contains 100 gamma of lsd 25 one tenth of a milligram the equivalent of one six hundredth of a grain an ounce of this material will make 150,000 such doses. Let us observe the effect some three hours later. <laughs> well, tell me. Well, I just couldn't. I couldn't possibly tell you. It's, it's here. Can't you feel it? This whole room. This. this Everything is in color, and, and I can feel the air. I can, I can see it. I can see all the molecules. I, I'm, I'm part of it. I, I'm, can't you see it? I'm trying. Oh, it's just like, like you're released, or you're free, or... I don't know how I can tell you. How do you feel inside? Inside. I don't have any inside. Is it all one? It, it would be all one if, if, if you weren't here, and if, 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 if nobody else. Yes, everything is one. I, you have nothing to do with it. I am one, with what I am. I can see everything in color. Everything. You have to see the air. You can't believe it. And and the dimensions and all the, the prisms and the rays and, and everything coming down through you and, and moving. What does this all mean to you? I've never seen such infinite beauty in my life. It's like a, a curtain or a spider web. Can you see it? It's right here in front of me, right now. Watch. No. Oh, good heavens. You know what went through me? It passed right through me. Could you feel it? I would... It, I would... Me? Is 
all this pleasant or unpleasant? Or aren't these the right words? What seems pleasant or unpleasant? Doing anything pleasant or unpleasant? It's too beautiful. It's, it's, how can you think it? I mean, it's, can't you feel it? Everything is so beautiful and lovely and, and alive. You, you shouldn't say anything about anything not being. This is reality. This is. If you look right over there. Are you looking? Can you? Yes, what should I see? I wish I could talk in Technicolor. Or, or let you see. Can you, did you say you can see it? No, I can't quite see it. Tell me about it. It's, I can't tell you about it. If you can't see it, then you'll just never know it. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> You'll see a bunch of kids who are looking for all the right things in all the wrong places.